For years, the way we interacted with computers was with a mouse and a keyboard. Then we got touch and some stylus, but I just came across something really interesting and I don't even know anything about it, but my friend Gurdiv from HP is going to help explain it. Gurdiv, what, what is this machine here? It seems really, really cool. I don't really understand what's going on here. Best way for me to describe it to you, it's a whole new way of interacting with technology. I don't consider it a new computer, I consider it a new computing platform. What that means actually, you got cameras built in here, you got a touch mat here, you got a touch screen here. So you start out with what you typically have. This is what people, most people know as a computer, an all-in-one, fourth generation i7 Intel processor, eight gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, with a desk clamp. Then we add a touch mat in here as well. 20 multi-touch point, 20 inch diagonal screen, whereas this is a 23 inch diagonal. This is HD resolution, this is 1024 by 768 resolution. So truly a new way of interacting over here. Then we bring this over here and we've got four cameras built in. An RGB camera, an infrared camera, a 3D depth sensor, and a 14 megapixel high resolution camera. So I'm going to start out over here with an HP application that was created called Workspace. So we call this the canvas and we call this the gallery. Okay. okay. Now what I'm going to do over here Capture, capture the butterflies. I actually like this butterfly better. And a starfish. A lot of us are to told by about the age of 10 we're no longer creative. It's a special group of people over here. The rest of us are just part of the, the norm. This allows technology to work for us as opposed to the typical approach where we are, we are working for technology. Okay? So capture this. Now, actually, let me do one more object in here. For the record, I have no idea what's about to happen, so I'm really, really interested. Okay, so we're including a banana in here as well. Now I hit this, three seconds get my hands out of the way. This white trap is what just occurred. At this point, I can actually pick these things up because it's a one-to-one -one capture to projection. Holy cow, it's like hot. Absolutely. You can easily flick down pictures that exist in your gallery, which appear over here. Now in this case, what I want to do, I want to keep the picture of the girl, obviously, and get rid of that gray background. Okay. What I want you to do is count down the few number of strokes that I'm having to do this, as well as how broad these strokes are. Okay? So I bring up the background tool. Now, stroke number one. That's one. <laughs> Two. Three. Three strokes of what I want to keep. That's the background I want to get rid of. That's my before, that's my after. This is amazing. You know what I, you know what I really like about this, Gurdiv? Is that I'm kind of like a guy that likes to use his hands. And yeah. so this is very, like, hands-on. Absolutely. This is some fantastic technology. Is this like a prototype or is it something that's going to come to market? It's actually available already. We released it, HP released this thing in October 29th. So it's available in the US. We are actually rolling it out to other countries this year as well. And what exactly is it called? So it's called Sprout by HP. Sprout by HP. Um, if people want to get more information about this, where, where do they go? Sprout.com. Sprout.com. If you're looking for a new way to interact with computers, if you're bored with the keyboard and the mouse, Sprout by HP is an excellent solution, especially for those people that like to use their hands. Good day, thanks a lot. Sure.